In production, you may hear words that you use in everyday conversation, but they mean something completely different when you get on the job. So maybe you've been using some of these words incorrectly. In this video, we'll go over some common editing and motion graphic terms and what they mean. Let's get started. Cut. Referring to a sudden transition between two shots or scenes. So this could be a conversation between two people and it's cutting back and forth, or it could mean to cut to two different camera angles. Transition. A smooth transition or changing between two shots. Now this could be a simple crossfade, or there could be an effect applied. Frame. A frame is a single image within a video. Let's just say in this case, 24 frames per second. That means that 24 single images make up one second of that video footage. Clip. A clip is a short segment of video or audio from a larger video or audio file. Montage. A sequence of quick shots or clips that create a specific effect or convey information. Render. The process of generating the file output of a project. So once you've created all the visual information in the software, the software then has to translate all of this information and compress it into one video file so it can be played on multiple platforms. Keyframe a specific point in an animation where a change occurs. So these are digital points, checkpoints, markers that have specific values and the software animates the information in between those two values. Mask, a technique used to selectively hide or reveal parts of an image. Now this can be used in After Effects or Premiere to hide, remove little clips of footage or to add things, create text effects, etc. Chroma key or keying is a technique used to remove a specific color from footage, often green or blue, and replace it with another image. Motion tracking, or just tracking, is the process of mapping the movement of an object or element in your video. This is useful if you want to hide something like a logo on somebody's shirt or hat in a video that you're making. These terms are quite common in production and you've probably used them before or at least heard them used. If you're new to video production, I hope this video helps you understand and navigate the world of post a little bit easier. If you like this video, please like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.